Hey everyone, thank you for joining us. Welcome to this webinar on the power of video marketing for law firms and how to create effective videos that resonate with your audience. My name is Sebastian Verde and I'm going to be hosting this webinar for you. Really excited to be here and talking about this topic. Thank you, thank you for being here. Now, first of all, a little bit of an introduction. My name is Sebastian Verde and I'm a video editor here at Console Webs. I've been in the audiovisual industry since six or seven years um, with different editing and filmmaking experiences that allowed me to understand the purpose of video production and their different goals. So that can be helpful. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to be here. Really excited to be here and share this topic with you. Today, we're gonna talk about why your law firm can ignore the power of video marketing and how to create effective videos that resonate with your audience, as I previously said, right? Um, let's get started. And let's start with the most important, right? The main topic is, like I said before, why is video so important? Why should law firms care? Here are a couple of stats that speaks for themselves. And one of them is that viewer, viewers retain 95% of the information presented to them in a video compared to only 10% through reading. That, that speaks on the dynamics of video and how important it is for the audience to engage through a video with our brand, right? And 90% of marketers say incorporating video into their marketing plan help them generate leads at the end of the day one of the most important goals of us marketers or the marketing team of your firm and or brand is to generate leads right and video it's one of the best ways to do it furthermore online video is expected to account for 82.5 percent of all web traffic in 2023 those are um one a couple of stats that can give you an idea of the importance of video, right? That answers our previously question on why is video so important. Um, this is a pretty good note to start talking about it. Um, going to the next slide. Video, an essential tool for legal marketers, right? Incorporating video into your law firm's digital marketing strategy has many, many benefits. Not only it provides a human touch by showcasing your expertise, success, and personality, but it also helps you um, with your SEO efforts, your search engine optimization efforts by incorporating keywords and tags into your video descriptions. It builds your brand authority, it adds flavor to your website, and it's a great way to reach a wider audience and engage with potential clients. A couple of notes here is and when, it, when when I said add flavors to your law firm's website, um, you know, sometimes uh, our website can often read as impersonal and sterile canvas. And what video does, it gives you a more personal touch. Like, it's like the brand is talking to the, to the prospect uh first-handed and and we're gonna talk about uh, uh we're gonna talk about it a little bit more um but that's you know that's the concept the main concept behind it where should you start with video marketing let's start by saying that this is not set on stone there are many ways to do it but based on our experiences we're gonna try to summarize it and give you some ways to do it with this we can say that marketing videos come in two forms short form and long form i mean short format and, and long format uh, we're going to talk a little bit uh, about this because i mean you pretty much can divide marketing video strategies with these two options because those are the commonly used format for video marketing uh, for example short form short format videos typically lend themselves well to client testimonials ads uh, short explainer videos that simply explain a common legal problem and even legal TikToks. Um, TikTok is nowadays um, a thing. These last couple of years since the pandemic, right? So they're trying to incorporate that in short format videos that kind of explain the, their topic, their expertise, and give, you know, a, summar a summarize, like, um, I give you a, 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 give the client a little perspective of the information that they can have as a firm, right? 
The long format videos, on the other hand, work well with content such as about us videos, videos speaking to the firm's missions or services, and longer explainer videos that provide an in-depth explanation of a, complex, uh, of a complex legal issue. These two options are really, really, really good to start creating video content and start building a video strategy. You, you know, you pretty much can summarize it in these two formats, but like I previously said, um, these are commonly used by marketers. Now, if you're wondering where to begin with your video marketing journey, we have a recommendation for you. Client testimonial videos. Not only are they powerful ways to establish trust and credibility with potential clients, but they, they are also relatively easy and cost effective to produce compared to other types of video. I mean, plus they provide a valuable source of social proof that can make all the difference in a competitive market where clients look past word of mouth referrals, right? There's no right way that law firms should start their video marketing journey, like I said before. And we, I mean, we do recommend considering starting with client testimonial videos. At the end of the day, you as a, as a lawyer, as a business owner, you know your, your clients and you know which one of them can, you know, join join you on a on a film recording session to just talk about your your, your brand and talk about your firm and talk about their, their their experience with the brand. It's easier for you to contact them and and ask them to film a video this morning. We're gonna see some examples um, after this slide, but yeah, it, it's just easier to start building con content to start building con video content for your law firm. We're gonna take a look at some samples of the things that I mentioned before. I feel my representation from my, my attorney and the practice as a whole was extremely professional. I feel like everything was handled really well and I had the support of the whole office behind me. And just like that, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to make and pretty easy to ask. Um, and you can use it you know, as a video ad, um, you can, well, I don't know, use it for social media platforms as a short form video, because it, it is, this is only like 15 seconds. And there's, you know, there are so many ways that you can use this and it's not that complicated to do. Disability Law Group started because we really wanted to focus on our clients' needs. People are coming to us when they are not sure what the future holds for them. And so we want to make sure that we are there while they're navigating this very difficult process. The goal of this video is for video advertising, right? The, this is a sample, 15 seconds, um, and it's a quick edit also. And you can start a campaign, a video campaign for your law firm's brand, right? And just by using your testimony, and this, by the way, we're gonna talk about it a little bit later, but this was, you, you know, um, a video that they have in their in their website. They pretty much asked us to, you know, see the video and, and and choose the clips to from that video to extract some scenes, some sequences that can work as a video advertisement, right? Um, let's see social media. This is of um, from our internal social media strategy. And you can see this post in our social media platforms.
And just like that, with a simple script and with simple content that can be extracted from, from your blogs and from some article that you wrote, wrote um, you pretty much have a, a an engaging video that can be shareable um, through social media platforms, right? It's an informative, uh, short format video that can be helpful for prospects to understand um, you know some some aspects of uh, of the legal industry, and yeah, that this this is pretty easy content to make. Um, the other one that is a long form of video that is an animated video sample. This, for example, doesn't have music um, as the previous one, but it gives you an idea, you know, um, and 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 understanding how the video animation works and you can also do that for your brand uh, depending on your strategy. And this was um, just to give you a little bit of context. Um, this was for uh, an event, a film event that Council Webs uh, attended, and it was supposed to be, you know, um, the screening on the background of the presentation. That's the reason why this doesn't have music or audio. But if you want to make an animated video, you can definitely. I mean, I definitely recommend to use at least music if you don't have voiceover at least music and we're going to talk about it like the resources and, and all that stuff a little bit later but uh, i do recommend if you want to build up an animated video uh, i definitely recommend to use music and voiceover or at least music you know just not feel like this silent that we're um, having right now this is a long format video it's three minutes this is for you to make, you know, uh, uh, in-depth uh, informational video, educational video for your law firm brand. But also you can do it in a, in a short format for your show, social media platforms. Um, it's, a, you know, an engaging content and it's uh, um, it can be shareable by your audience in your social media platforms. How do you craft a strong video now that we've shown the basic let's dive into the important part um, the video strategy first you need to find your brand voice identify how you want to make your clients feel and branding voice you want to achieve thinking back how do you want your prospect and clients to feel do you want to make them laugh do you want to make them feel safe project confidence Showcase your ability to verbally navigate sensitive issues, uh, or maybe it's all of above, right? At the end of the day, how do you make your client feel? It's what counts when it comes to getting their business. Reflect on the branding voice you want to achieve. Discovering your brand's voice is the key to injecting your unique personality and a distinct tone into your videos. Choose the face of your brand. Preferably an inference spokesperson that's more trustworthy to potential clients. Again, this is not set on stone, but if you want to start creating video content for your brand channels, it's easier for the process to choose the person that's going to be in front of the camera or be the voice of the brand. You know, you, you can pick one person to be the face of your firm's brand, video brand. They will become the standout spokesperson for your law firm. We have two recommendations with this. One of them is objectively evaluate which associate could best get across your firm's brand message make sure the person you choose properly gets across your goal branding tone don't use a third party spokesperson it's always better to use an internal attorney that's more in touch with your firm's values and mission um, plus having an infirm spokesperson reads as more trustworthy for your potential clients i mean those are two main recommendations that we have um, for this point but um, but yeah just for you to keep to keep that in mind a third and um, one of the most important ones write a script that identifies the video topic include any relevant call to actions key takeaways and most important 
practice it off camera to ensure everything sounds natural, right? Writing script is important before filming video because it helps ensure that your message is clear, concise, and well organized. And it can save time and money in the production process. You know, when I say when pre-production is really good, production should be good and post-production is really, really good. I mean, it all starts with pre-production and with the script. While writing script, consider the following tips. Um, the video topic, call to action, and key takeaways should be clearly identified. This, you know, this comes from the title to the body of the document that you're writing. Ensure the writing sounds conversational. Um, don't write as someone's gonna read it. Um, write it down as someone's gonna say it. And this, it, it, you know, it sounds silly, but it's really important because at the end of the day, um, not everyone, you know, have the skills and talent to be, uh, you know, uh, a host, uh, a TV host or a YouTube channel host, you know, to make the things easier for them and practice the script of camera to ensure everything sounds natural. Uh, give you time to practice it. It's better for you, it's better for the, the quality of the content. Diversifying your platforms means that you aren't limiting yourself to just one channel, right? By diversifying your platforms can help you reach a wider audience and showcase your law firm's professionalism. Um, some examples about it is that TikTok is an excellent way to reach younger viewers through a short forms videos. Legal TikTok in particular is a goldmine of a 60 second explainer videos that summarize legal news headlines and provide a high level legal analysis on interesting legal scenarios. And the, the good thing about TikTok is like once that you, you know, once a, a video is shown on the main page of a user, um, depending on the algorithm, it can recommend, you know, the same type of videos to that audience. You want your, your firm to appear on those searches, right? YouTube, for example, on the other hand, is great for building a community around your content and fostering deeper connection with your audience through longer form videos. It, it, it's still the perfect channel to build up on a video content strategy because you can upload different kind of videos. So yeah, the diversify your platform, that's that's a big one. Different platforms have their own strengths and benefits, so it's important to customize your content for each one of them. And last but not least, when it comes to creating videos for your law firm, professionalism matters, right? Your videos are a reflection of your brand and the quality of work you provide so it it's important to ensure they look and sound professional how you can make it i mean you can make it by being mindful of lighting and audio equipment choices using professional video editing software to polish your footage and add graphics or music if necessary and paying attention to small details such as background noise and distracting visuals that can detract from the overall quality of your video. One way to, you know, look professional is avoiding common video production mistakes. One of them is not tying everything together. For example, have you ever loaded a video to YouTube and then wonder why it didn't get the views or engagement you were hoping for? It might be because you didn't tie everything together. At the heart of it, your video should be part of a larger strategy that ties together your website, social media channels, and other marketing efforts. In this particular case of YouTube, don't trade it like it's a Google Drive because it's not. It's a powerful tool that can help you a lot um, to engage an audience, to generate leads, and it's not some video storage platform. That's that's you know that's a a common mistake that I see uh, from law firms. I mean, your video shouldn't sit in a vacuum. They should be part of a larger strategy that ties together your website, social media channels, and other marketing efforts, like I mentioned before. Um, not recycling be the content. For example, if you are tired of investing time and resources into long form videos only to have them gather dust on a single platform, you should definitely focus on recycling videos. Um, I mean, you can extend the each of your long form videos and grab them and edit them into smaller bite-sized clips that can be shared on social media, your website or or other marketing channel. I mean, you know, one of the examples that we saw um, was a long form video that this um, this firm had and they wanted us to, you know, to just crop it out and adapt them to social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and, and, and you know, and others, right? So that's a 
great way to recycle on video content if you're like struggling to generate more content. At the end of the day, these clips can be used to promote your longer videos or to highlight specific points or insights that, that are particularly engaging or informative. We have learned the key principles of video marketing for law firms. By now, you know, to summarize and to wrap it up, we should have a solid understanding on why video is such a powerful tool to, you know, for building your brand the do's and don'ts behind a successful law firm video strategy and tips and tricks to get started with video, right? But above all, it's essential to make your video content worthwhile. Here's a quote um, from Larry Weber, biographer and CEO of Racebone Global, wisely observed. Uh, it says, as you've noticed, people don't want to be sold. What people do want is news and information about the things they care about. So that pretty much summarizes what video content strategy means. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us and on this important topic and hope you find it helpful. If you're looking to get the latest breakthrough inside the best legal marketing updates and overall proven tactics to get ahead of the competition, please make sure to check out the links below um which dive into the, the laws and podcasts um, which offer expert insight from various legal professional and our blog posts which offer weekly strategies for success so yeah thank you thank you very much for joining us and hope you find this successful uh, insightful and it helps for your video marketing or video content creation thank you